Welcome back to Book of Dawn, IOP Academy. I'm your Game Master, tormented by gnomes. Joining me once again, we've got Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. Welcome back, all four of you. We're in the middle of a pitched battle against the Knights of Terra Nimbus. The tide has just turned as the teachers heard their students' cries for help and have come to assist. The action currently lies upon the, the remaining Knight of Terra Nimbus, the one who has not been drained into the void. Uh, who's 40 feet out flying and facing a big scary minotaur who he is going to attack. He is absolutely going to swing his great so his sky steel great sword at Inril Untermaler. Uh oh, let's know. see. Athelor, do me a favor. Uh, oh shit. Roll 1d20 plus 5. Bitch about to get fragged. 17. All right, that hits Master Untermaler. Although he does have mage armor up, so his armor is up to 15. Yeah, that's still a hit. Okay, so now roll damage. 2d6 plus 3, please. Uh, come on, heart of the cards. Nine. Shit, All right. He hits Inril Untermaler for 9 points of damage. Weak. Pathetic. Untermaler uses arcane deflection. As a reaction, he raises a, so an extra shield of force to increase his armor class, blocking the attack, and the knight takes seven points of force damage. Oh shit, you got Black Panther. <laughs> and that is it for the Knight of Terranimbus. Athalor, it's your turn. You're on the floor below. You can see everything that's going on. What would you like to do? Uh, right. Ariana, I think Alex is not going to fall to his death. Awesome. Uh, yep. right. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this... Nice. Okay. Uh, we should get back up there. Athwar's going to throw away a mind sliver at the old, uh, at the old knight mm -hmm. to try and add to the... Fuckery for one psychic damage. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, uh, gonna I'm, I'm gonna tickle his medulla oblongata. He needs to pee. Yeah, he made the save anyways. Oh man, okay. not even half damage, and Athol's just gonna try 25? his best to move out of the room as fast as possible to find the way up in All right, whatever at the start of your next turn. We have. Um, Ariana, are you going with, or do you have a different plan in mind? I'll probably just go with. All right. The two of you start running through the hallways down below. Dubacy falls another 520 feet. Alexander, it's your turn. Doodly um, doodly doo. You are... Actually, I didn't roll for the Knight of Terra Nimbus when he... Uh, you know what? He's not concentrating on that anymore. Gravity has reasserted itself over you. Uh, Inril Untermaler is holding you with one hand, and you your feet are on the flying carpet as well. What would you like to do? Okay. Um... I think Alex will say to Untermaler, um, there's four of us here. If you can make sure we're all going to be alive, that would be appreciated. <laughs> to have chased down there and kind of just point out where, like, um, where Athlor and uh, Ariana went to. I guess Alex we're doesn't fine. know. Don't regard and, me. Yeah, and just points, I guess, to the broken window of the room we were originally in. Um... So there won't be one up there as well. Do I need to ask which four it is? No, you don't. I thought not. <laughs> and what do you want to do? What else do you want to do? Uh, I guess there, there's still the alive Knight of Terra Nimbus next mm -hmm. to us, right? Correct. But all my magic is kind of sus, so I'm just going to let Jumaler uh, <laughs> take care of it. So. <laughs> That's magic. Don't, don't, don't want to go hard sus next to Untermaler. <laughs> mm, there's a time and a place. Wait, actually true. Wait, actually true. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, um, what's his attack with his spells? Kind of like help action Untermaler? Is that something I can do? Yeah, you could, you could use your action to give him advantage. Uh, all yeah, right. Cool. We'd love to do that. Untermaler is just going to use... Because he used his arcane reflection, so he, he can only cast cantrips this round. 
He's going to hit him with a firebolt. Roll 1d20 plus 10 and do it with advantage, please. Plus 10. I stop it. That was fucking uh, strong, man. 1d20 plus 10 and just roll it twice. Okay. Do you know the shortcut to repeat your last uh, roll? Not offhand. So type 1d20 plus 10. Okay. Now, yeah. in the chat window, just press up and it'll reload wow, the last sorry. thing okay. you said. Word. Cool. Because you are haranguing the Knight of Terran Nimbus, that fire bolt that he just cast successfully goes through. So, roll 3d10 fire damage. Word. Blam! He, with his, with the staff, he uh, just sort of shoves it under the knight's chin, fires a firebolt, which goes right out the other side. There's molten metal and other things I'm not going to mention. And the knight starts plummeting. And then he shoves the knight off of his flying carpet as his flight ends. And the knight plummets down all the way below. That is it for the action. Let's, what's the move speed on a flying carpet? Because you said that there was another that, kid? Don't be shitty again. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. Um, <laughs> I have to look up the move speed on a freaking flying carpet. Because I think what he's going to do is he's going to fly through the window in pursuit of the... Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, it's a carpet of flying, not a flying carpet. <laughs> <laughs> that matters because it's all alphabetical <laughs> you know what i mean yeah oh yeah okay well he's gonna need the big one so it only moves at a speed of 40 feet all right scratch one night of terra nimbus and he is going to fly actually you were 40 feet out so he flies to the window and he tells you this is your stop he's gonna go collect the others <laughs> okay. after he secures the room uh well, alex will hop off then all right. Congratulations. The Alex has landed. Nice. Oops. I just abducted you. Let me fix that. Whoop, whoop. And I'm going to get rid of the levitation that was on you. And you are clear. Garnet, it's your turn. Are what we still do you in want combat? to do? Is combat not done? Uh, yeah. Combat's over. Oh. Yay. I am still going to go oh, to everyone. you. And then re oh, okay. the other two are going to reunite momentarily. Um, probably gonna go out to the hallway mm -hmm. and just follow Master L now around or see what she uh, is doing. Okay. Um, I'm very well, injured, by the way. Okay. <laughs> very visibly injured. She cares. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roll a perception check, please. Okay. I Natural see a lot. twenty. You can <laughs> hear <laughs> Untermaller's voice in the other chamber. And you can hear your other friends. Uh, these wardens are not here. They are busy doing warden stuff. Uh, you can hear your other friends swiftly climbing up to join you in the hallway down here. And this door is closed. Ignore that. So you are absolutely aware of everybody's presence at the moment. Are we running into unnatural darkness now? Not yet. There's a door between you and that. You're okay. actually, yeah, you're, you're on the other side. You're going to be there momentarily. Unnatural darkness in a moment. I don't even think I use spell slots. So I think I'm just injured. Damn. Um, what's, what's your plan? <clears throat> he's, after, he's here for me. So I say we go out there. We give him what he's looking for. Right. Plus this, and she gestures at the sphere. Ooh, yes. All right, well, what about the others? Are, I, I think, is that Undemaler in the next room? Did you bring him? He was fighting separately. He came on his own. We were in different, two different pronged attacks. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's go get everyone. Let's... Let's go. Do you have any healing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. She is going to tone down the dark lady act a little bit, though the uh, so the lights flicker back on. Let's see. Shoof, shoof. Shoof, shoof, shoof. 
and she's going to go get the box that she was carrying the sphere around in and re-encapsulate it. Wait, so you've had this this whole time? They're not easy to destroy. Besides, I wouldn't throw something like that away. Well, who knows you, you have this? Untermaler. It's a security risk. Of course he knows about it. At that moment, Untermaler, Alexander, and uh, Athelor and Ariana all arrive in the hallway. Can we say to the fucking guys on the desks, you're fucking useless as we go past? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were not there. They may have, I may have oh, left I them on the map, but they are not there. This whole place is cleaned out. <laughs> you guys 100%. are fucking useless. Man. <laughs> They're like, look, they didn't ask to file any paperwork. That's what our job entails. So, you know, we let them go by. Um, oh, my God. <sighs> Everyone's alive? Thumbs up. The four of you should not even be here. You should all get to safety immediately. Just ignore him tomorrow and just go <laughs> over and sh put a hands on Alex's shoulders. Like, oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Oh. <sighs> you too. That was scary. <sighs> Alex, you were flying. <clears throat> not of my own will. Yeah, it. that's a lot yeah. of wands. That's a lot of wands. I message Athalor. Who the fuck happened to Dubacy? <sighs> just yeeted Alex. Yeah, and yeeted himself. Uh, I think my uncle lost control of him and he just wanted to end it. You think he was jealous? <laughs> Or is it like a pet he doesn't want? I just, something messed with the control. Ah. I go and hug Ariana. <laughs> I'm just like hugging oh, her. I'm so, so glad you're okay. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. No one died. The academy oh. is still under attack. I need to get back out to the battle immediately. The four of you should see yourselves to safety. We can summon right, some wardens to spare to get you safe. W right. Wait, Untermaler, before you go, you know what's going on outside of the sphere, right? With the, the refugee camps? Yes. Are you going to send help? We already have. But okay. the, the North Wind and his minions press us hard about the breach. I must go back now. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. We, we um, we'll go. We'll go. El now gives you a glance, Garnet. A glance bag? And as she goes, she drops very softly, very quietly, a key. My shadow grabs it because it's closer, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. And unless the two of you do anything, Untermaler and Elnau are going to walk out of here. Back to, she has wings so she can fly. He has his flying carpet. She also has the box of doom. And they're going to go fly back out there and continue fighting. Leaving the four of you to your own devices. What would the four of you like to do? Message El now and ask her, like, hey, I thought we were doing this together. That key will open the warden's lockbox in the barracks. There you will find a flying carpet. Hey, I don't know how to drive it. I haven't got my license. You're a smart one. I have full confidence in you. I'm just kind of okay. I'm going, <laughs> to, I'm going to lure Boreas out of the sphere, away from the battle. 
Meet me above the breach. I need your mind for this. Okay. Um, is Una like sticking around her? Well, Una was with her. Where do you want Una to go? Do you want Una to, to go with her? Yeah, as like Raven can just fly mm. around. All right, cool. The four of you are now alone with a key to the warden's armory. What would you like to do? Oh, I would I like, like to run into the previous room and grab a ye, and we'll see if it exists, and then try and grab ye old matrix cutting knife. <laughs> okay, it's a lucky thing that Untermaler was distracted and didn't <laughs> notice his stolen knife lying around. You can go ahead and take oh. it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. And then just returns to the others, and I guess we can dismiss that random noir who's, who's just around there. <laughs> just standing there, hey, uh, you still need me, or what? <laughs> All right, the illusion is poof, gone. What would the four of you like to do? Gotta find the barracks. Alex, do you know where that is? The barracks. The last time oh. that you were here, Garnet, you were sneaking around during the interrogation of all the students. So you happen to know that the barracks is in the southeastern wing. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, <laughs> let's go this way. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> all right. Um, we don't have to do this bit by bit going across the map unless you want to ha break into Untermaler's office, which is right here. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> that was a little too casual. casual. <laughs> that was a little too casual. I'm, I'm just saying it's right there. <laughs> like you'd all, you'd all notice. You'd all notice that that the office is, you know, there. It's it's impossible not to notice. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. That's that's all I'm saying. Wow. Really. You guys are side eyeing that office. I suppose it is tempting. I mean, I mean, he did just save Alex's life. I feel like kind of an equal exchange would be to not break into his office while he's defending the entire school from marauding lightning gods. Yep, but then but... it'll be even. The next time we're here, then we can do it. Or mm. we cash in the karma. You know, we bank it up a little bit, I feel like. Uh... We've wanted to break into his office for so long. I guess right there. the main... Uh, IELTS office is the main goal, but I guess that's true. Is... Where is IELTS office? Up upstairs, right? Further up, I think. It is in this very spire, and it is upstairs, and you do know where it is. <laughs> oh. Is it time? It's not time yet, is it? <sighs> it has to be quick. Uh, El now needs me to t help with the killing of the sun. Or something. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the Discord Very that wants to kill the sun. This is killing <laughs> the sun. It's completely different. Oh yeah. So, Do you want us to help Garnet with that? Or what? raid? I'll just have to split off uh, if this is taking too long. But I'm. Um, I'm. Office down. or Ioth's office. What are we doing, kids? Do we know of any targets of value in into Muller's office at the moment? What was it, Svantisco wanted? Well, she just wanted a get... knife. They never actually we already got have. the safe. You do already have the knife. Half the point of it was as a trial run for breaking into Ioth's office. True. Well, maybe that book in Ioth's office could help us with the with the you know who problem. I just I I have a bad feeling about it. I think it's too soon. Even though there's a bunch of distractions going on, I Ioth could just be in there, not caring about what's happening out there. And if he's real. Just... Fucked at that point. Sure, if he's real. I mean, there's a real thing happening to the sphere. Two things now, these nights. What if then we go down to the barracks and on our way back up, we think about it? Okay, I like that. I like thinking. I like it. I like that you're a thinker. Did, did Garnet share that we're getting a flying carpet? Oh yeah, yeah, all that, all that is shared. Well, carpet, when flying. we have a flying carpet, we can always just look into the windows yeah. of our yeah. office, right? Yeah, nothing wrong with looking. It's just, just some window shopping. Yeah. Does it have windows in his office? A, you all know that there is a balcony. The office has oh. a balcony. 
Seems they not just a secure thing, but step off the balcony <laughs> for a second. Yeah, oh yeah, stretch resting, our legs. Resting our feet, resting yeah, our yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a very stressful night for everyone. Yeah, yeah. So injured. Any potions? Map. Maybe <laughs> Io definitely has a potion. I mean, it's Io. So, yeah, fun yeah. fact, uh, chat has given away several treasures, and it would make a lot of sense for those to be armor potions of healing that you find in the armory. So, uh, there are two untyped treasures here. So, let's go ahead and give the party four lesser healing potions and Yay. a flying carpet. Nice. nice. So, the, each the healing best. potion is worth 2d4 plus two. You have four of them. Spend as you will. We also have what? a healing boost for who's the least, now that you've, go ahead and heal yourself up, who of you is the least damaged? That'd be me. I've only taken two points of damage. Okay, go ahead and heal those up. <laughs> that was nice. after the healing wind. I didn't get out completely scot free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have a heal here for anyone but Dubasif. So who in the party wants to take that before you drink those potions? Gone it needs to recover I'm from at unlife. 16. I'm at 16 right now. What? Alex, what are you at? 18. Well, we got potions. Why don't you roll your potion? All right, roll I don't need any of the potions. potions. I'm at 20 out of 24, so... Oh, oh nice. Good roll. Okay. You got heck of blessed. <laughs> of a yin and a yang, a feeling boost right there. <laughs> All right, Alex wow. needs one potion. How injured is everyone? I could oh, give yeah. my... Potion to Garnet and then take the healing boost. I'm full. Okay. I'll do another potion roll then. Sweet. I'm getting dick. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Still more HP than Ariana somehow. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you, good. well, she needs it. You know, you need it because the, the big fight, you're going to be involved. So, yeah, why don't, yeah. Why don't you we're all going to do it, right? We're all helping. Yeah, uh, I could maybe be a distraction again. I d I don't know how much room there is going to be for distractions when four of us are on a flying carpet. Oh. Yeah. And I forgot to ask her about the weight bearing. Uh, well, well, we'll do we'll, we'll do we'll a test, test lift. Yeah, we'll, we'll test, test lift in, inside inside. I mean, <laughs> Untermuller's quite a big minotaur right is the and entire we're... party gonna die from garnet this... driving is this the same <laughs> model of carpet the one that yes kind of looking at the carpet yes it is the same model of carpet that he had so it moves at 40 is... feet and it can hold like 600 pounds a thread count 2000 and then, but yeah we're fine we're fine yeah we're fine. um we gotta find where the breach is I'm sp we're supposed to meet well now or oh. you know while we're driving I know exactly where it is. If we go up to the greenhouse, you'll see it. It's a huge crack in the sphere. Okay. Uh, so are we doing a little drive-by through uh, Ayos' balcony? May oh, yeah. Well? I suppose we okay. can look. Okay. So we're going to go Just look at Ayos' balcony. Can I try the carpet before getting everyone else killed? Yeah, you can. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> All right, you you speak the command word. Go ahead and give me a good command word. Yip yip. Yip yip. Great. <laughs> yeah, this uh, canonically this carpet is is yip yip to activate. <laughs> cool. All right. And the way that it works once it takes off is it just moves according to your spoken directions. So all you have to do is tell it what to do, oh. and as long as you're within roll? thirty feet, it'll do it. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. I think I've tested this out, guys. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, so are we ready? Are you sure you let's, you're uh, ready? Let's climb aboard, I guess. Well, you did that cool arm spider web trick, right, Athelore? You know. Yeah. That's. Are you expecting me to to climb alongside you, or? Well, we're all getting on it, right? Yep. Yep, yeah, yep. just be like our, you know, parachute uh, anchor man if we fall. Okay, if if we fall, grab onto me and I'll see what I can do. Great. Yeah. Everybody ready? 
Uh, all right, Uppy. Climb <laughs> <laughs> higher and higher towards the three prongs at the very top of the spire, the tallest of which is the office of Ioth himself. As there we is. leave while we're on lowest, I'd like to see if there's like a Dubasif indentation in the ground. You can't see because of the fog. <laughs> oh, uh, bollocks. The, also, Mystery, damn you! While we're going up, uh, Alex would re kind of poke the, the messenger and just say, um, So now that we're not in uh, immediate peril, what was that earlier? What let that happen? Another force is at work. Something chaotic, something able to break the rules. Let's focus right. on this. We'll speak of that again. You are going into the very nest of Ioth himself. This is not a time to be distracted. I sense the power of another. I will warn you immediately. Good. All right, cool. And on that note, let's see what power we sense. <laughs> Hunter's howl. The moon calls, born of blood, and something within you answers. Okay, that is deleterious to the advance. We're hunting warriors. Um, we'll deal with that when we get to Ioth's office. How about because? <laughs> Okay. You fly books. up to the top and okay. you see the balcony. Now, this is not a place you've ever been. You've only ever seen the reflection of a seventh year student leaving this balcony the fast way. But remember, when you saw that reflection with the magical mirror that you possess, it was as if you were re- you were seeing the whole scene as it transpired, but the only thing you saw in the reflection was the student themselves. You did not see any of the surrounding set dressing, if you were. When you arrive at the balcony, there is no railing whatsoever, just a simple open platform. The wind is particularly strong this high up, raging through the breach, which is now visible because the golden dome is a little bit brighter on the fracture marks where the massive bolt of Vindor's wrath shattered it. You can see fireballs and lightning bolts, spells going off, and great gusts of terrible wind as the Academy fights back against Boreas and his minions. The gates of the balcony are closed. They are tall, perhaps 15 feet tall, a golden trellis gate, beyond which all you see is a seemingly impenetrable fog. What do you Gana. do? Gana, can you detect magic at will, or do you think we're uh, going to need a little bit of that power later? I don't have a said detect magic, but why is the room foggy? So that we don't see what's inside. I'm going to take the dagger and just, like, tap at the gate. Tick, tick, tick. You, there is so much resistance. It's like cutting through Kevlar. Not saying it's impossible, just saying there's a but, lot. But like wh when the dagger hits it, it's not hitting a gate. No, it's hitting Correct. like a giga enchantment. Mm -hmm. An absolutely intense lattice of magical energy. The protections and spells on this are intense. And there's many, many layers of them. How's it feel, Arthur? Be like trying to cut through the earth with a butter knife hmm. i mean i like i thought we'll just hand over the knife but like have a look yeah i guess alex will do the same thing just like tap it and feel the resistance and it's like oh, I, I don't think this is a good idea this is way too much especially for right now what he hides within there is his greatest lie one core lie, the very root of him, that stinks and festers within this academy. Don't worry, I intend to uproot that. I really, truly do, but 
now it's, it's too much going on. Garnet, roll an arcana check for me, please. A flat arcana. 22. Okay, so you've got a list of defensive spells that are on Untermuller's office. One of those spells is called Guards and Wards. The Guards and Wards spell fills corridors with fog. There's also a spell called Private Sanctum, which blocks all sound, makes the area look dark and foggy from the outside, blocks all divination spells, blocks all teleportation spells, and prevents all interplanar travel. Guys, these are the same spells from Tamaler's office. I name off all the spells. So it's still active. So he's in there, right? I mean, someone needs to be maintaining them, right? I would think so. Would we know if these are spells that you can just like set and forget? Mm-hmm. They are spells you can set and forget. None of them are concentration? Correct. These are long-term wards that you cast in a location. Some of them can become permanent if you cast them every day for a year. These are, either these are long-term permanent spells or they're spells that are like physically built as magic items into this place. One of the spells on the door is arcane lock. That's like the first layer of protection. The, the door is locked with an arcane lock spell, which you can pull up in the compendium if need be. Can my tra can my shadow like because it can squeeze between inches? Can it mm -hmm. like try to go through the door? Just to test. Oh. oh. Yes, it can try. Roll percentile dice, please. Uh, is that a one d one hundred? Okay. I'm stupid. New York. Seventy one. Okay. All right. And roll a wisdom saving throw for Noir. Oh. How wise is your shadow? Oops, that was with the vanish, That's but fine. a six. We're going to take the first one. Noir slips sneakily between the cracks entering the impenetrable fog beyond and immediately comes right back out. Like as in it. Enters, got... is gone, and then comes back out. Not like what a happened? dimensional folding thing, just like goes in and goes out. Well, what'd you see? Talking I... to the shadow. Darkness, I had to leave. You are the darkness. It was commanded. I command you. <clears throat> yes, mistress. What do you want me to do? Are we in there? Okay. Roll percentile dice, please. 1d100. <laughs> All right. And roll wisdom saving throw. <laughs> it's just doing this shit again. <laughs> me, me, Mo, Garnet, when we start trying our stuff, guys, we have to go. It must have, oh, oh, no, I was waiting. A natural <laughs> Okay. Noir slips into the office. And you lose contact. Your mental link is broken. Can we see them? Nope. <laughs> Shit. And then mental link returns. Hello? There is nothing here but no one, no one's in there? a staircase. Everything else within here is illusion. A staircase. Do you guys know anything about stairs and the I illusion? I passed up the stairs and I lost you. Oh. I share with everyone this stuff. S stairs? Do the stairs go up or down? Up. 
Alex, would you would you know anything about that? Have you studied any of the schematics of the spire? I haven't been Roll. in Ios office. Besides Roll the, the time stairs. Oh, I, stairs that go up. I can, we can only assume there's so much magic protecting this that we don't even know. Even stuff that's not uh, more advanced than what's protecting uh, Untermullers. I. That's probably why that happened, I would assume. At the top of the stairs, there were four stone carvings. But I lost you, so I returned. What do they look like? Crates. Mages. Three Alphar. One Dork Alphar. Any books? No. Doors. Just all illusioned up, man. They are Your real. Boys. Beyond the stairs, carved of stone. But it wait. What are they portals? Do you think they're portals to outside of the academy? They could be anything. I wonder what's cutting off our connection. It lost you once I went up the stairs, the moment I passed from this room. Was it a different plane of existence or it something? It was a room. Special room. Oh, oh Athelor, what's that word? coincides in what's in telepathic communion would be explained by crossing a plane or not. The word is Gilgeis. Shook. Hey, open sesame, it worked. The door is open and the fog clears. And inside you see a beautifully apportioned office, with a basin of flowing water, a large writing desk, and a book sitting upon it with a cover of shimmering gold. And at the center of the room, a staircase leading up. Athlaw would like to close his eyes mm -hmm. and use his, uh, his trance walking prep to try and follow the same steps that the previous student took. Okay. Do you follow Athelor? Yeah. Is he going up the stairs? Or what, what, yes. where would his these... path is going to... He's been trancing and practicing this for a lot. He's walking upstairs if you, the four of you are going to follow him. I'm going to be last because I want to stop and look at the book on his desk. Okay. The book you described. All right. As you walk past it, the book is bound with gold. It has a large red ribbon emerging from it. Written upon it in golden ink, its pages vaguely luminescent, are the same runes that you saw in Dubasif's circle. The unique runes that only Ioth uses in the academy. Oh, Alex. Uh, these are the runes from oh, Dubasif's thing. Wait, should we look at this? I will look. I'm not going to touch that. You just with your eyes. Oh. Sure. Give me the old eye touch. Yeah, uh, Alex we're just walk looking. Walk over, look at it from a safe distance. Mm -hmm. uh, say, Alex is probably pretty uh, uh, skeeved out by this situation. All the understandable. Yeah. It's probably true, like showing. Mm -hmm. Roll a Arcana check with advantage because of the eyes of the Runekeeper. Arcana advantage. Eighteen. 18. It's nonsense. Complete and total nonsense. It's gibberish. It's meaningless. No, it that doesn't. It's nothing. It doesn't follow the same rules as the runes on Dubasifs. It's nothing. Probably just a part of. What was it? Everything was illusion here. Is that what your shadow said? Right. Yeah. Well, 
I think most of it is gone, right? Because the fog went away, the door opened. Is this anything in here real? Can we check, vibe check illusions? <laughs> well, when I was transwalking, did I walk through anything? Yes, you physically walk through something. At that exact moment, as a lot of you are having that conversation, he walks right through the desk that you're poking around and looking at. Oh, yep. I think that answers our question. It does indeed. Mm, he could have made more legible illusions. I don't think he... more of our time. Unless I don't think he kind it... of figured that uh, anyone would be in this office. <laughs> or he has multiple systems of runes, potentially. I just don't know what these are. Unlikely. I don't know. I mean, Athlor, can you give it another... Uh... Uh, I'm waiting for my trance walk to uh, conclude. His trance walk oh. is leading him through the room straight up the stairs. If you want to oh. follow him, you have to go up the staircase. I guess we should go. Going up the stairs. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> Guys, we're going to get detention for this. <laughs> <laughs> we're certainly not immune to attention, detention, fuckers. <laughs> You emerge at the top of the staircase. Something nigh imperceptible has changed. Athalor, you feel it first. As soon as you take that last step onto this surface, the stone itself hums with an unearthly vibration. Something beyond these walls. It is not the same deep thrumming as your home, but it's absolutely in the same tune. Athol's gonna go in his mind. Are you still here? We are always with you. Okay, that's reassuring. I'm gonna have a look at these purpley things. Actually, I, I will wait until the trance walk concludes. Athol's just gonna keep going through the rhythm of that first before the anything else. Leads you with a stop to a door to the north. You know, beyond that door lies the last thing that that student saw before they fled this mortal plane. Roll a perception check, please. Ooh, Okay. There is light, unbelievably bright, flashing light in a wide variety of colors immediately beyond this door, leaking through the cracks, flashing in a bunch of different colors rapidly. And the door is barely holding it back. The other four of you see four statues and three and four doors around this room. Three of the statues depict Alfar mages. Athelor, when you open your eyes, you immediately recognize them. Ioth and the two companions who joined him in founding the academy. The fourth is the Doc Alfar sage. That fucking sage. What? <laughs> what? These are the progenitors of the Alpha. Ioth and his companions, they're the ones who, when Luminius fell, they decided to become, well, Alpha, like me. And that one over there is the Doak Alpha Sage. She was there the day that I was recruited to come here. So the student came in here? And then this is the last place they stood before, well, they became an Alep, I suppose. Athelor uh, glances back to the door with a touch of nervousness. <laughs> oh. Hmm. What if Noir opens it? Or is this a door, right? We're trying to open? I thought maybe you should let Noir 
do it, just in case. I think that's a much better idea. Is that going to hurt you, Garnet, if something happens to Noah? I shouldn't. Whatever happens to it doesn't usually affect me, but... Usually. I haven't had anything happen yet, but do we need... What is beyond this door? Like, what... A lot of light. I got a feeling that with that much light, we know the dawn magic's been siphoned away. I think it's in there. I look back at Alex. The truth, you think? I do. I do think so. Don't know what form it'll be, but... If we just open the door, would the magic just come back out and reflood this fear? Maybe. Does the messenger think we should do this? I like to pause, kind of just like look to the side internally. There are a lot of lies that we could find out beyond this door. Let the shadow go first. Do you think it could hurt her, Garnet, if the shadow goes? I doubt it. And they think... The shadow should go first. Okay. Um, gonna a point to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Going to point there, kind of stand, sort of. I'll just stand here, but I'll turn my back to it and not look and command the shadow to open it. Okay. I also want to not look. <laughs> okay. What about Any not lookers? <laughs> Any not lookers in chat? I think Athanor is gonna confer with his uh, brain friend. Like, look over at the everyone else shying away, and then be like, "No harm in following." Yeah. Cool. We'll have a look. See then. I'm gonna hide behind the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Alexander and Garnet with their backs turned. Athelor? I think Athelor was kind of like, this is the legacy of my people and my refuge, and is mm. staring on. Okay. Noir opens the door, and beyond, immediately beyond, is a shimmering, multicolored plane of light, utterly bright, utterly opaque. Shimmering in all seven colors of the rainbow. I need Noir and I need Athalor to roll constitution saving throws, please. Oh, that Damn. Wow! Noir, this is the legacy of my people. Uh oh. <laughs> Noir uh -oh. is blinded by the light. Sorry. <laughs> DMCA. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't expect this to be here, so I didn't actually prepare a prop for the light, but it's still there and it's just incredibly bright. Athalor, roll an arcana check, please. I look upon this bitch and I say, I got no fucking clue what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Whatever it is, you know that there's more to it. You know that the office lies beyond it, but this incredibly bright wall of light is blocking the way. Time to cop this bitch up. <laughs> what will you do? Knife. You're going to use I the knife? I would recommend looking. Uh, I, do I have to roll a new con save every t every like turn against this thing? Uh, or if you Athelor's start eyes, your turn within good. 20 feet of it, you have to roll a constitution saving throw or be blinded. Ooh, is that, does that include if you're facing it? Yes, if you are looking at it and your eyes are open and you're within 20 feet of it, 
You have to roll or be blinded. Okay. But can I, I cast, my, can, can I cast Minor Illusion to put on some sunglasses? This spell is so powerful, it blasts <laughs> right through that illusion. But you can look cooler if you'd like to look cooler. That is an option. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think addressing the party. Uh, so uh, it's pretty intense. Wouldn't recommend looking. I think the office is beyond there. Do I try and cut through? Ariana looks respectfully behind the pillar of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking respectfully. <laughs> What's the can, play, team? Can I make a um, Arcana check? Yes, you can. Go ahead and roll an Arcana check. This is a prismatic wall. It is perhaps the most powerful abjuration spell in existence. This is a level nine spell. A prismatic wall has seven layers. Anyone who attempts to pass through it is subjected to the effects of all seven layers. The first layer deals 10d6 fire damage. The second layer deals 10d6 acid damage. The third layer deals 10d6 lightning damage. The fourth layer deals 10d6 poison damage. The fifth does 10d6 cold damage. The sixth turns you into stone, and the seventh sends you to another plane of existence. Hmm. Oh, fun. How does somebody get through there? Well, each layer has one specific <laughs> vulnerability. Uh... If you destroy the red layer by dealing at least 25 cold damage, this is the orange layer with a strong wind, the yellow layer with force damage, the green layer with a pass wall spell or another effect that opens a portal on a solid surface, the fifth layer by dealing fire damage, the sixth layer by using bright light equal to daylight or greater, and the seventh layer with a dispel magic. Athlor, I don't suggest you go near that. Okay, yep, I'm perfectly happy with that assessment. Do you know what this is? I suppose I can just share that information with the group because yep. I actually the, can't the, remember all of what you said. That's fine. <laughs> if you look up the spell prismatic wall in the compendium, you can pull it up. But yes, you share all that information. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that include the dispelling <laughs> ritual? Mm hmm. We're, we're not powerful enough right now to get through this. But we can learn how. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm just saying this this thing is fortified. Well, and you have the ability to take down some of the layers. Can anyone in true. the party deal cold damage at will? We Probably Alex. Alex's ice knife. Mm -hmm. That would take down the first layer. Can anyone make a strong wind? I have Gust as a cantrip. Okay. That would destroy the second one. Can anyone here, here <laughs> deal force damage? Force, force damage? Yeah. Yep. Eldritch Blast. Wait, Eldritch Blast? Eldritch oh. Blast. <laughs> Can anyone here... Okay, the pass wall would be difficult, but you could take down three of the layers before you'd have to try the knife. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it just might take uh, you a while. I'm guessing that our weird interpretation of Sanctuary doesn't count as a pass. Correct. Oh. I think we could get past like four layers. But have we'd have a lot of trouble on the, the other three. I don't think I'm, any of us can make a yeah. bright light. Wait, you have dancing lights. That's not strong enough. Does that count as a bright light? No, that's, that's not, not strong, strong enough, enough <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we might get an opportunity like this in the future and we don't want to throw away our one chance with this knife what if it breaks and then what if we can't yeah. get through everything else and then someone discovers that these layers have been broken and oh, this, you this know, is good actually but now but, we know what we're up against we know what we yeah, need it's, it's perfect okay so we, we can come back when we're ready and we go help out now, now. Yeah. yeah. Now, now. Yes, it's fun to say. Okay. Should we go? 
Yeah. Is that it for our heroes? Can we close the door? <laughs> I think we should close the door. Yeah, let's close the door. <laughs> Next time I'll you set up like closed. seven different lights so it's just absolute <laughs> illegible. <laughs> <and it looks> <laughs> Bring in sunglasses next time. Welding masks. Oh. <laughs> okay. Smart. All right. Our heroes depart and then go down to the magic carpet, I take it. Doodly doodly do. Happy. Yep, and yep. where do you wish to go from there? We uh, breach him, baby. The breach. Who to breach? Arkin, my friends. Okay. Once more under the breach. For realsies. Well, congratulations on the YouTube title names. We're all very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that vod taken care of. Let's go. All right, I need a carpet. <sighs> I can show and you the world. <laughs> and some banging. Shining, some shimmering magic. Uh, DMC if we're bad. I was gonna say I can hear I can hear the mouse. I can hear the mouse. Someone's using my songs. <laughs> <laughs> I want all ten cents of your advertising royalties, you stupid <laughs> well, I swear to god, I'm gonna come to your house and me and Donald, we're just gonna go <laughs> on a your <laughs> Once oh we're done my with that, god. We're <laughs> and then carve a new hole and then you we're gonna do with that? We're gonna <laughs> Thank you, Disney. Very cool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the hole is in the shape of the mouse ears. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that sponsorship. Um, <laughs> no Disney Plus IELTS Academy series? Probably not. Probably I don't think not. so. I think I botched that one, like, episode three. <laughs> oh Drugs. shit, we got a team fight. Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> Drugs. Anybody want some math? Ain't right. no ass on the carpet. That's cool. Uh, when you arrive, it is a full pitched battle. You can see Boreas himself flying under his own power. And just as a little bit, let's have him use. Uh, yeah, he, he's taking the shape of a body of mist and wind. He doesn't even look corporeal. He's this giant made of flowing blue mist. And he blasts a nearby mage with a whirlwind. Oh. <gasps> For 43 damage. points of slashing damage. So yeah, that's what's at stake. A lot of you... Have joined the battle. You know how sometimes Master El now will be like, we have to handle this. And then Garnet will be like, but I can fight, I can help. <laughs> this is why those conversations occur. <laughs> I can help. <laughs> so uh, as I'll you approach later. the battlefield, you see, uh, and you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and have um screw it. We'll give Untermaler a shot, too. We'll have Untermaler, yeah. Unt but he didn't prepare his combat spells. You know, fun fact, Untermaler does not walk around with his combat spells prepared. Because he works at a school full of children, so he prepares <laughs> non-lethal things like Hold Monster and Telekinesis and other spells for dealing with the kinds of problems you normally deal at a school of magic. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and have our heroes arrive on the battlefield, and you can already tell that Unbelievable power is being unleashed. Let's kill this person right here. That person just got fragged. Blam. Oh. By a huge okay. gust of wind that uh, our boy unleashed. Oh, I hate numerology anyway. I there was no one oh. in <laughs> <laughs> It was not somebody that you know. So, uh... here are these kids on this flying carpet. Here is this titan running around wrecking shit. An entire battalion of mages hurling fireballs and magic missiles left and right and a whole bunch of Knights of Terra Nimbus as well. Ika Elnau is on the battlefield along with Inril Untermaler. 
Untermaler is leading the charge, so he's a little bit further away. You're able to link up with Master El now. She has the Box of Doom. On the way there, if you have any combat spells, you're welcome to, uh, preparation spells, etc., you are welcome to use them. What would our heroes like to do before you arrive at the battlefield? I'm casting Mage Armor on Garnet. Is that oh, thanks, workable, or does that only work on you? Uh, it's such a willing creature. Great. Garnet now has Mage Armor. Boink. Thanks. Cool. I think I would instruct everyone to drop prone. Mm -hmm. On Me? the carpet. Yeah. Quick right. DM question. Mm -hmm. If I place a hunter's mark on somebody, is it just I do extra damage or can somebody else take advantage of that mark? Pulling up the spell. You deal extra damage whenever you hit it and you have an advantage on attempts to find it. So it only works for you. Rats. I did not bring that sword with me, I'm sure. You could. It's fair to say that you brought the sword with you. You never said you got rid of it. Pet sword. You never said you got rid of it. Just dragging the sword with the, by the hilt behind me. I'm just like, watch the carpet. <laughs> you know All what? Right. Screw it. We're going to go ahead and deploy that 40 subact of God that happened earlier. Oh, I would right. like each of you that. to roll two separate d20 rolls. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Garnet's got this one. So. No, uh, growing got 19 too. Oh. Oh, you all got 19. Well. <laughs> oh shit! Look at this go. Five. Share it. A twelve. <laughs> and a two. So, I'm gonna chalk this up to a spell going wrong. A spell of ferocity is unleashed on the battlefield by the mages. It has some slight side effects, and three mages transform into werewolves. In the sky? In the sky. <laughs> Flying <laughs> werewolves. Wily coyotes? They uh -huh. are dangerous. Their their primary focus is directed at the Knights of Terra Nimbus, but they uh, are still hazardous for anyone to be around. So now, in addition to this battle between wizards at a wizard school, a minotaur, a shadow elf lady, and a bunch of flying knights, and an ice dude, there's were flying werewolves. All we need are some ninja pirates, and we're golden. And unicorns and <laughs> And if robots. they die, they turn into zombie werewolves. Ah! Exactly. Alright. So oh you've arrived on the scene. You're all prone. Master El now is waiting for you. She's ready. She's going to attempt to lead Boreas away from this battlefield by using herself as bait. She wants you guys to stay out of the way, but stay nearby. She needs your help to control the sphere. Okay. Do right. any of you want to do anything when you start to lead away? Nah, I'm I'm allowing extra guidance from the from the mines there. Okay. Um, before we proceed with this, I'm gonna have Boreas attack Untermaler once with his wind blast. For thirty two points of damage. Jesus. Untermaler is pretty severely hurt. Oh no! He wait, wait. Is going yeah, that's to a use... different tune. <laughs> yeah, so as you guys are preparing to pull away, Untermaler is pretty severely hurt. He is going to answer with his Staff of Power. He's going to cast... Oh, Lightning Bolt is no good here. Hmm. He's going to kind of cast a level five fireball. Ooh. Boreas oh, oh, no. A dexterity saving throw. Oh, wait. Yes. Boreas succeeds on the dexterity saving throw. Plus 12? <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh no. Which yeah. doesn't bode well for the dexterity saves against the Sweeper Annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> so he very much succeeds on that saving throw and takes half damage from 10d6. Okay. So Boreas takes 15 points of damage. No, 16 points of damage. He's barely scratched. Me who is about the healing hands and for five HP. It's <laughs> like a little band-aid on this like giant wound. Now Ujamala does have two healing hands saved up, so he's gonna go ahead or two healing boosts saved up, so I'm gonna go ahead and give those to him right now. He heals Ooh. for fifteen. Is there anything that you wish to do before Elnau lures? Boreas away from the battlefield. Uh... Leaving Untermali behind, flying out of the breach. Um... Mm... I'm going to try and uh, subtly get a telepathic bond with Untermali in case we need to call in some backup in a minute. Okay. Are you sure he doesn't need the backup? <laughs> Big boy's about to get led away by uh, your mommy. I can't think of anything. Okay. Um, when my flickering moats can trip, it says disadvantage on next intelligence or wisdom check it makes. So if it tries to use a perception check in the sky to see what we're up to. Yes. That'd be helpful. That would apply. You... Does that ability allow a saving throw? I'll just post it. Yes, it does allow a saving throw. It's a wisdom saving throw. You want to use it? You'll have to get within 60 feet. I think if I'm an Athlor spot, I should get Yeah. You want to try just... that? Excuse me, and I'll do that. All right, and it is a <laughs> wisdom me. saving throw. He'll probably save it, but you know. He did. Yeah. All right, anyway. <laughs> uh, chow, anyway, so <laughs> we're uh, going to go uh, off our fucking merry way. Bye Alex, with the, uh, with the cold touch of the shoulder to Garnet, will uh, guidance Garnet. Okay. Boop. Thanks, guys. And anything else before El now think. deploys the distraction? Mm. No? All right. I don't think so. El now deploys the distraction. She casts Disintegrate. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that'll do. Big distraction, yeah. <laughs> that literally that'll do it. Oh, a bitch. Holy fuck. That's <laughs> 40? This is a deck save. <gasps> it is a deck save. He's probably going to make it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He yeah. made it. I've never got a 30 in my life. He takes half <laughs> damage, so that's what, 38? Yeah, he takes 38 points of force damage. Oh my god. And El now calls him out in Primordial. Your father is a scared, tiny little tyrant, and you are his misbegotten seed. Come get some, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You dare speak to yeah. Boreas that way? <laughs> Zoom and she's out of here. <laughs> she absolutely flees. And Boreas is moving at a fly speed of 120. So she's going to cast Dimension Door outside the sphere and then hope that you follow. And the two of them are just tearing off after each other. Uh, yip, yip. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Yips and yips. Panicked yip yip. <laughs> Panicked yip yips. <laughs> All right. Also, werewolves are tearing each other apart. Just FYI. And we're not done with that. Edwards <laughs> the the Collins versus the werewolves. <laughs> oh, God. What the Man, I prepared this encounter this? ages ago, and this is completely not valid anymore. Uh, because you're flying, I'm just going to destroy all the dynamic lighting. This is a map of the settlement. 
I had this idea for something that was going to happen in the alleyways like five episodes, ten episodes ago. It never actually panned out. And we were going to meet old uh, Big Gob. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. I have no memory of this. Well, that, yeah, it's because it never happened. Um, hmm. Roll Indeed. for initiative, please. Uh, uh, everyone grabs no. an initiative. Nobody looks at us, we're dead, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to initiate. I don't know. I'm very yeah, sorry right now. I got some homework to do, actually. We got some midterms still. So. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. Is this thing going to reverse? <laughs> uh, I didn't select my token. Mr. Trolling, Mr. Boris, would you like to join the codex? Oh, I'm also trolling. Wait. Literally a hard one. Oh, that's fucking pog for you. I got a twill. Okay. Did we get everyone? I think we got everyone. Uh, can you add my thing? Yep, what'd you get? I scuffed my thing. 17, please. Thank you. Okay. I guess maybe I can... Oh, I go first. Oh, oh no. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Set the pace, there, Ariana. Set the pace. Oh, no! What would you like to do? Um... Garnet, what what exactly is our objective here again? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't fucking know. What? Oh, well, why are you Wait, supposed to be here? Uh, oh, are we trying to get him into the the the, the void sphere that you created? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Do you got any so like supporty like go get him spells? Nothing that I feel like is gonna work on this guy. He's huge. Barely anything that Untermaler was throwing at him was working. Unless you want to like help action, but I'm not sure even know how you would help. I depends on what you're trying to help do. I have no help actions. Do you have any skills? Very selfish have you taken any classes that would be helpful here? <laughs> Some grass and shit somewhere? <laughs> I am emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. That's on my character sheet. I like how everyone was like, yeah, let's go kill this god. And now <laughs> you're like, oh no. Wait. Oh god, oh no. Just, just here for Garnet, you know, moral support. I, yeah, I know this is yeah moral, moral support yeah 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 um um hmm ha 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 I I guess um where is it where is Elno right now where's where's this god person okay well he <laughs> he needs to go towards the sphere right right he needs to go towards the sphere so how mm. about I throw some fireballs to the right of him, so he goes towards El now. As long as that is intimidating enough. Did you see that fucking shit he just threw just now with the fireball? Yes, can I, but can I, feel we, like... I can drop you off on one of the roof. Like if we get hit by one of those, we're all fucking dead. <laughs> That's a good point. Should we coordinate a drop off location? Oh, okay, just just. Put, put me, put me on like the the next roof in front of us. I, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm I see some. Oh. I see some grass. Put me on the roof. Put me on the roof. Go ahead and drop yourself where you're gonna be dropped off. Okay. Oh, I Here. can drop them off on their Ooh. turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. On each of your turns, you're allowed to like land and deploy. All right. That is a very brave roof. <laughs> that is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? This is where the most grass is right now, and I feel like that's all I've got to work with at the moment. So uh, I'm about to choose the best druid crafting you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm going to make this grass grow very, very tall. Okay. And very, very thick. All right. Roll an arcana check or a nature check and use that to hide. A natural Ooh, of grass. You Yo. are completely hidden, like a Pokemon in the tall grass. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and 
Is that it for you? I. Uh... Yes. Okay. How big of an area of effect do I get with that? Uh, this entire sort of like darkened area. Yeah, whoever drew the squiggles, the squiggles are accurate. <laughs> I've just tried <laughs> grass. <laughs> now this is roleplay. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's that's all that I would want to do. Just to okay. create a little bit of like a barrier and also a safe haven for other people to get into. All right, I wanna do two things here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some werewolves because we had an act of God, so now there's werewolves. I'm gonna put in four werewolves on various parts of the map. One here, one here, one here, and one here. You know what, I'll put this guy all the way down here because we had an act of God and that made werewolves and chat deserves to have their werewolves. And the other thing I'm gonna do. Chat deserves what? Please don't be the thunder cannon. Please don't be the thunder cannon. Please don't be the thunder cannon. Mirror, mirror, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Oh, I don't think I like this one. Uh, <laughs> we, we've uh, lost a friend who was close. Didn't we get this mirror thing before? I'm pretty not sure that was one. when Athelor and I were in. Not this one. I know what I'm going to do with this. No, it was not this one. I'm in, danger, this I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. It was not this one. Okay. Ariana. Your turn uh -huh. is over. Uh-huh. Alexander, it is your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, first... Uh, we dropped off. <laughs> all right, yes, yes. Um, remind... So the werewolves were were who again? Uh, mages they, who were turned into werewolves by an accidental spell that was meant to empower yeah. them. Who were part of the, the side of the school, right? Yes, but in their werewolf form... They're also werewolves. Yeah, but they're just not, just not just like outright bad guys. Might be mm -hmm. right now, but okay, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, dropped off. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we shouldn't stay split. Uh, I expect we dropped off on a far northern roof, I suppose. Um. Oh, I am not on the right tool. Just up here. Probably here. And roll a perception check, please, Alexander. Oh, okay, okay. Perception. You don't see this coming? <laughs> Grins. Normal. <laughs> 19? You're in position. You're looking across the roofs of the camp you haven't been to for years and years and years. You're looking out there's werewolves there's a, a titan across the way there's a mage who thinks she can kill a god and across the way from you in the top floor is an old dusty mirror nah. <laughs> and the reflection that you see in it what? is one you have not seen for a very very <sighs> long time what she is on God. the other side of the mirror with her hands pressed against it, screaming silently. Oh, no. And as much as I hate to do it, we're at three hours, and that seems like the best time for us to go ahead and call this. So sorry, oh! everybody. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Tune in next time wow. as the battle against Boreas continues on Book of Dawn, I the Cat. <laughs> and uh, for those of you who are still with us before we leave, I did want to let you know that next Monday, we're going to have a special one-shot episode with our very own Pixie Riot as the Game Master instead of Covens and Cauldrons. So that is... Uh, that's going to be there, and I'm going to go ahead and put that announcement up. So everyone, please tune in to support that, and we will see you next time.